Welcome Aquarius to your mid-July reading. This is going to be applicable from mid-July to the end of July. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you over this time. Aquarius, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the energy beginning this period. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row is going to be your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the month. Aquarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I am going to start off over here with Two of Pentacles and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So let us see now what this Two of Pentacles energy is for Aquarius, please. And you have got Two of Wands. What I'm seeing for you is mid-July is a very busy period for you. I think, my dear Aquarius, you've got a lot of changes, plans and ideas that you are working on. You're putting things into play. You've got big decisions to make. Should I do this or should I do that? This could be the energy, my dear Aquarius, of moving now. And you having to arrange and organize everything. How are you packing up? What are you getting rid of? What are you selling? What do you need in a new place? Organizing all the administration things. It could be the energy, my dear Aquarius, of deciding to change jobs or look for a new job. There's a lot of activity, a lot of movement. And with that, there's also a lot of thinking and planning. So we see a very busy time for you mid-July. But let us continue, as I'm sure we're going to get deeper insight as we move along. We now want to see what the moon energy is all about that is sitting in the area you should focus on. Right, let's see now what the moon energy is all about for Aquarius, please. And you have got the Hierophant. Aquarius, what I'm seeing here for you, I think with all these big changes that are coming in for you, these new ideas, these new plans, and I think for a lot of my Aquarians, you're already in it. It's the energy of being quite scattered and not settled and not grounded. And with that, my dear Aquarius, you might have a lot of unknown elements. If you are moving to a new place, it could be, am I going to like this new place? Are my neighbors going to be good? Am I going to love the new neighborhood? Am I going to fit into this community? If it's the opportunity of starting a new job, will I manage? Will I like my boss? Will I like my colleagues? Will I manage with the work? A lot of unknown energies. But here comes Hierophant. And Hierophant is telling us, my dear Aquarius, that what is happening here is meant for you. You are meant to now be taking movement forward and bringing change into your life. There is a lot of unknowns and this is normal, my dear Aquarius, to be anxious and worried. But Hierophant is telling you so beautifully that what is coming about for you is for your best and highest good. Have faith now. Yes, you don't know what the future holds. Yes, there are a lot of unknown elements. But have confidence that this change is blessed. It's meant for you and it's going to be so good for you. Mind, body and soul. This is our Hierophant's crown. Aquarius, look at all these unknown entities. Understand that it's normal to feel apprehension and insecure. But don't let that ruin the moment for you because there is wonderful possibility here because Hierophant is letting us know that what is happening now, it's you moving in the right direction. There's going to be challenges and hurdles along the way because that's life. But ultimately, you are on the right track. You will get on top of the situation. 
you're going to feel at home and rooted in the new job, in the new relationship, in the new home. Go with it now. Rather let, my dear Aquarius, excitement and anticipation for the future rule the day than insecurity and fear, especially because now we know that this is blessed. So focus on this. Shift your mindset if you are feeling afraid and worried and look forward to it with great excitement. This is what you focus on. Let's move on now and see what this Ace of Wands is all about that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what this Ace of Wands is for Aquarius, please. Eight of Cups. My dear Aquarius, I don't feel that you have any big challenge coming up. Your challenge, if any, is just to contain the energy of the moon because we do see big changes coming in for you and we saw that right at the beginning with two of pentacles and two of wands. There's something you are leaving behind my dear Aquarius, and you're moving on to something. Like I said, it could be literal, like moving homes, moving towns, moving countries, moving jobs, or it could be you're leaving a relationship, you're leaving a particular group that you belong to. Whatever it is, my dear Aquarius, it's time to move on. And this is why Hierophant came out, because it's time for you to look at this move as a gift from spirit. Ace of Wands is the hand of God coming in, giving you now a wand of possibility, the wand of doing something completely different than you have been doing. You now have the opportunity, my dear Aquarius, to take this wand and make something out of it that you want to see happen and manifest in your life. If you, my dear Aquarius, are leaving a relationship that no longer works for you. You now have an opportunity to find somebody, my dear Aquarius, that suits who you are now. Perhaps the old partner you simply outgrew and they couldn't give you what you needed right now. But now you have an opportunity to start a new relationship that is going to give you what you need and what is going to fulfill you on many levels. If you are moving away from a particular neighborhood or town because you simply have outgrown it. And this happens, Aquarius. There are times we just don't feel connected to our apartment, our house, the community we're living in. And we know we don't belong here. Of course, there's a lot of unknown elements. But what we are seeing here is something so exciting and wonderful for you now to almost reinvent yourself so that everything around you fits and reflects who you are now. There are no big challenges here, my dear Aquarius. If you understand that there is a big change coming in, a lot of unknown elements, but it's the right thing for you. With Hierophant and Ace of Wands coming out, Embrace every moment of the change. Go with it. It all adds to the flavor of what is opening up for you. I feel this is a very exciting time for you. Let's see what Spirit would like to share with you. And I'm going to clarify Nine of Cups. So we want to see now what this Nine of Cups energy is for Aquarius, please. And we've got the star. My gosh, my dearest Aquarius, the thing I feel most for you is that you don't know what is waiting for you. And now we have a very big and very beautiful confirmation coming through from Spirit. Spirit is telling you, my dear Aquarius, you are about to have your Nine of Cups energy come in and you're going to see it within these last few weeks of July. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. 
whatever you have been wishing for, praying for, thinking, my dear Aquarius, it's never going to happen for me. I'm so anxious. I'm so worried. I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Please do not worry. You're going to be bowled over with how things are going to change for you. Whatever you have been praying and wishing for, Spirit is confirming, is going to come in by the end of July. And you, my dear Aquarius, have the star energy upon you, which tells me two things. First, you are going to feel blessed. This is what all these stars represent. You're going to have the energy of, Spirit loves me. Spirit has blessed me. Spirit sees me. I'm safe and protected. And my dear Aquarius, I do feel for a lot of you that you are going to be moving into new environments, new social situations, and you're going to be seen with the star energy. People see you as special, as somebody who has got wonderful things to offer, somebody who is interesting and intriguing, somebody they want to be around. Aquarius, if you are feeling this energy in any way, deep breath, my dear ones, you are about to feel the other end of worry, stress and anxiety very soon. Now let us see the possible energy at the end of the month and I'm going to clarify temperance. So we want to see now what temperance is all about for Aquarius, please. Six of Wands. Aquarius, at the end of July, you are bringing in the temperance energy. Now, in this particular card, we see our angel with her rainbow wings, and we see the rainbow in the background. You're bringing back hope, harmony, and inspiration into your life. By the end of July, my dear Aquarius, you are going to feel so much calmer, so much more content, and so blessed at where you are. Six of Wands tells us that you, my dear Aquarius, are able to overcome and manage whatever comes your way in the next few weeks. By the end of the month, you have this incredible energy of great accomplishment. Accomplishment, my dear Aquarius, on the physical realm. As you can see, our knight is holding up the wand with the victory wreath. You're going to manage whatever comes your way. You're going to deal with it with strength and wisdom. And you're going to move on quickly and swiftly. And as you can see, our rider is wearing the victory wreath on his head. It tells us that you are going to have such a personal sense of accomplishment. Understanding everything you have been through, everything you have overcome, and how you have managed to walk away from that and walk towards what is so good and fulfilling for you. This is an incredible time for you, my dear Aquarius. Right, let us move on now and get your spirit animal message for the rest of July. So we just want to see now what Aquarius's spirit animal would like to share with them, please. And you have got number 43, Owl Spirit. You see clearly now. The number 43 is your lucky number for the rest of July. So any combination or variation of the numbers 4 and 3, please consider very auspicious. The Owl is your spirit animal. So wherever the Owl comes up, this too is a blessed sign. And my dear Aquarius, you see clearly now. You, my dear Aquarius, are coming out of the murky energy of the moon where you don't know where you're heading, where you don't know what's waiting for you, where you might be in the energy of sorting everything out and organizing everything, but you don't know how things are going to be. This moon energy dissipates completely and with that, the light comes in and what we see waiting for you Things are not only going to be so clear for you, my dear Aquarius, but you're going to feel so positive and proud of yourself 
with regards to the decisions you have made and where you now find yourself. What an eventful period for you, my dear Aquarius. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful rest of July and I'm sending you all so much love.